So you want to make some smoke, maybe for an explosion, maybe for... I don't know, something you're making smoke for, just some awesome effects. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are taking a look at how to make some smoke in Blender. Um, so first things first, we're going to delete the default cube, camera, and lamp, <laughs> as always. Uh, one of my numpad to go into front-facing view, I'm going to hit Create, or hit Shift-A, and add back in our camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag with the middle mouse button and click our uh, camera back to that position back behind the grid hit zero on my cam on my numpad to go into the camera's view and we are all set up now so first things first we can do this a couple different ways but the way i'm going to do it today is going to be pretty simple we're going to hit space the space bar on our keyboard and we're going to type in quick and pretty much what this is is going to add in a quick smoke object so we don't have to go through all of the painstaking task Ooh, uh, first things first yeah we got to add in the mesh uh, i'm getting ahead of myself so first things first we're gonna hit shift a or go over here to the side and add a icosphere we use an icosphere because the uv sphere has uh specific points at the top and the bottom of it if i were to show both of these in edit mode you can see that one little point up there which is very annoying sometimes and this does not have that so we're going to use the icosphere today with that selected back in our camera's view we're going to hit space, and then we're going to hit quick smoke. Um, and pretty much what this did was it added a boundary of the smoke, uh, where that's going to be emitted from. If I hit play, you can see we have smoke. That simple, that easy, that quick. But I'm dumped. All right, so first things first, we're going to scale this. Or we're going to move our camera back first. Uh, G G Y on my keyboard and GZ to move it up. Just something simple like that. As you can tell, the top of the smoke is getting cut off. So I'm going to actually scale that up. And the smoke does get bigger. Um, and you'll, we will fix that in a second here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to scale this box in tab mode. We're going to hit S, uh, X. <clears throat> and we're going to scale that on up and go back out of tab mode. And the way we do that, the reason we do that in edit mode is because it doesn't it doesn't get any bigger or smaller. So you can tell the smoke is now uh, emitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the side here and I'm actually going to be using, we're gonna stay in Blender Render for this because Blender Render is actually easy for smoke. So we're gonna, with our, uh, with our ball selected, with our icosphere selected, we're gonna go to the physics tab over here and we're gonna play around with a couple of these settings. Um, just a few. We're going to go fire and smoke instead of just smoke for the flow type. And we're going to leave pretty much everything the same the same way. We're gonna, I'm going to darken the smoke color just a little bit. And all that looks pretty good. We're going to now select our boundary box, our domain for our smoke. And this is where most of our, our editing is going to take place. First things first, we're going to uh, hit... Uh, you can leave this on open for the border collision. As you can tell when I play this, it looks as if the smoke and fire is just like getting cut off at the at, at the top of the box it's not like it's actually getting trapped inside of a box but if we put this on collide all and then play it again you'll be able to tell that the smoke actually does fan out as if it was in a box which does look pretty cool if you're going for a box type of effect um but i don't really like the way it looks especially because you, as you can tell it just kind of fills up the entire box so we're going to go uh, vertically open and then it will can it will uh, do the same pretty, pretty much the same thing as uh, open but it will actually collide with the sides of the box as you can tell it will collide with the sides um, but not the top so we're just gonna leave that on open because it doesn't really make a difference since we're not gonna be touching the sides of our border anyway so <clears throat> the way we can make this uh, clearer because it doesn't really, doesn't really look like fire right now or smoke what we're going to do is we're going to up the divisions, and this is where our computer is going to take a bit of a hit. We're going to scale down our icosphere just a wee bit, just something like that. And as you can tell, it will uh, it will get a bit smaller. But what we're going to do is we're going to up our our divisions just a little bit. We're going to go to 40. See what that looks like. We're going to go to 40, and that's not going to do very much. The thing that's going to do the biggest is if we go down here and hit smoke adaptive domain first of all we hit that so now we have a secondary border which helps us render a little bit faster actually we're going to turn the divisions back down to let's do just to put it back on 35 just so i can show you something real quick um and with smoke high resolution down in this setting right here if we click that on you'll be able to tell we're going to get a bit more lag actually a lot more lag um <laughs> when it plays it will look much better obviously it looks much much better and if we up the divisions to just three it's going to lag but we're going to have uh, much higher resolution of smoke and fire, which looks a lot more like fire now. 
Um, so it's starting to look pretty good, but what we're going to do is we're going to up it one more time just to four so I can really show you what this looks like a bit better. Um, and now we're getting a lot of lag, but the good thing about this is, is that we can tell what our animation is going to look like um, at the end when we're finally finished with it. As you can tell, the icosphere here is, is much smaller than the actual fire itself so i might even want to scale that down some more if i want the actual flame to be smaller so we'll scale that down to about right there and then the flame will of course move with it as well so with our domain selected um we're going to go one uh, once over through here and we're just going to take a look at some stuff um and we can change a couple of these settings temperatures um this will change depending on if the smoke it want is wanted to go down or up i'm going to turn the high resolution off because we need to save some <laughs> save some lag frames. So we have our fire and our smoke in Blender internal. If you if you can see we when we render this, you can actually see the fire and smoke very low resolution of course. But if we go into cycles render, you should not be able to see it because we are not we did not create our smoke simulation in cycles. Now, if we were to delete this um, and go and create another smoke in cycles render initially and then scale that up and scale that up you should be able to tell that when we play this back you will be able to change that to fire and smoke we will be able to actually see our smoke in cycles because we had to create our actual uh, our actual actual smoke domain in the cycle so if i go with a blender render after we create this in cycles you won't see anything so we have to be very conscious of what actual render mode we're in. So let me add this back in one more time. If we change the density of the fire, you can tell that the fire will now go down instead of going up like a uh, you know, like a rocket or something, which is really, really cool. But if we turn that back on up, it can go right back on up. The dissolve will actually make the fire and the smoke dissolve once it reaches a uh, certain point instead of just, you know, fueling up the entire time. So that's pretty useful as well. So if we turn that back down, something like like that, you can actually see it looks it's starting to look like a flame of a candle or something similar to that. Our fire and our smoke will will definitely come on out. Um, but like I said, we're gonna have to turn this up a lot more than just the default uh, four divisions and 35 divisions of the resolution. We'll turn the, the resolution divisions up to like 96 and, um, and we'll leave the high resolution on something like four. As you can tell, the smoke got much, much smaller. The smoke and fire got much, much smaller. It was way too big and bulky before, but as you can tell, we're getting a lot of lag now. Um, and we're going to get a, a nice screenshot to render and that is pretty much going to be it for our smire, fire, our smire, wow, our fire and our smoke tutorial. Um, so if I pause this right here, you should be able to tell that we have a much, da -da 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 -da, we have a much higher resolution smoke and fire. We can even turn this up even more to get even more detail out of this. Well, we can even turn this up to like 128. Oh, geez. But that is it for now. As you can tell, we have this awesome uh, flaming smoking monkey. Um, and that is that in the I'm actually doing another tutorial uh, and we're going to make this smoke collide with the plane instead of just going straight on through um, but that is a tutorial for another day I'll see you guys in the next tutorial hope you guys learned something new today I'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye